There's no sun here. What do you what do you have on? What what, what what's what's happening? What's happening? Ay, 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 ay. Uh, sombrero. sombrero. Oh, okay. sombrero. What's what's that in honor of or why? Why why the sombrero? She just because wants the bird. It's just I like big things. Just the hat. Okay. And I just twisted okay. it to the side and made a little right. pimp hat. Oh. The pimp hat. Okay. I like it. All right. Yeah. All right, Speedy Gonzalez. And, and you just what, what are we talking about? What are we talking Ladies about? Today? Welcome Ladies. to Hot Topics Wednesday. Hot Topics. Hot Topics. Hot Topics. Hot. Hi, Chris. Hi, Shahida. How y'all doing? Hey, girls. Hi. So, Hello. Ladies. Oh, what's that behind your head there, Christopher? Oh, this is a Theragun. Mm, I want you call me the a, what? I need me a, a Theragun. A Theragun. Oh, ladies! Uh, oh. Uh, oh. I need me one. Okay. And you already know where I put that Theragun, right? In my oh thing. my! It's God. too. It's too powerful to too put it right on your. Right on the click clit. Yeah, it's too. That's it's it. it it's too powerful. So you can soften it up. If you I'm put it looking in. at it and hearing it, and I'm like, that, no, that sounds painful. No, but that's what I'm saying. You, you, you put it on a, yeah, but it's good for muscles and stuff. Yeah. I oh. Would, oh, it's great for muscles. Lower back. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. I can't see where you put, actually put that. So therefore, I'm looking at my nasty brain is like, mm hmm. I'm gonna get me one. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my computer like this because I'm outside in my courtyard right now, mm -hmm. and it's a nice day outside. So I'm going to just relax here and hold it up, and then eventually I'll just put it down because I'll be too tired. Okay, but yeah. any yeah, anywho, how long you can hold that. What are we talking about today, lady? Oh, ladies and gents, we got hot topics Wednesday, and listen here. Um, I guess we can start talking about a. Uh, we all know that Nick Cannon has just produced his what Nick Cannon thirteenth child or tenth child. It's a set of twins with his like what is it sixth or seventh baby mama? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's, you know? it's ridiculous. But the so, thing that I got mean, me. he's in the whole you know spread your seed and multiply aspect. I mean, if he can afford it and the women okay with it. They'll all be taken care of, hopefully, right? He makes does he make enough money to take care of 10 kids or 12 kids or whatever? And he's gonna I mean, have to. I'm sure he does. Yeah, but so then what's the problem with that? But at if the end down, of the day, if they're down with it, if they're he, down with I, it, yeah, they are. But I mean, his whole thing is he doesn't subscribe to the Eurocentric idea of what a family should be like. I'm not mad at him. I'm, look, I'm, look, I'm, if he can afford, look, if the women are okay with it, if they don't need to be married to him and they want a chill child and they want the child to be taken care of, and as long as he takes care of the, those children and they don't mind, you know, him, well, the, like the third, the third baby, how many baby mamas does he have? It's like, like six. I think it's like five or six at this point. Yes. Hey, like if they're all okay the with it. Two years. I mean, you just oh. like just out here, and you and and obviously the women are okay with it. So if they probably yeah. have come to terms where they're like, you know what, I know he's gonna sleep with other women without a condom. Mm. And I know they're probably gonna be babies made, and I'm okay with that. Right. I guess if you're okay with that, but the bi bigger picture for me would be 
is that you're still splintering yourself off into all these different households where right. you can't be the dad. I mean, you're a part-time dad and you're a financially stable dad, but how much are you how 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 much can you give each child when you're having to go to like what is it like six seven different homes or is that even important anymore i don't think it's important anymore i think as long as he's taking honestly as long as he's taking care the women don't care have a problem financially it's if enough. he can take care of them financially and he obviously loves his kids it's not like he's just bumping and not taking care of them he, you know, Mariah carries two two kids, right? They got two kids. Yeah, two kids. Yeah, do they live that's in the California? He was married to, right? It's mm -hmm. the only one he was married. That's the he was the only one he was married to, right? I think that's Correct. the only one he married. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So and those are the oldest. So they're, they're taken the care of. Well, I mean, her. they're always going to be taken care of because they're Mariah right. Carey's children. <laughs> Period. But I I understand what you're saying about being a a in-house father so to speak um but and nowadays there's so many single women and so many you know vagabond families so to speak as long as he's taking care of them and giving them financial stability as well as you know acknowledges them he acknowledges all of them mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i mean to each his own, really. Let me say to that. each his own. The only issue I have with it is, look, he's Nick Cannon. He's famous. He's got money. If he wants to dip his dick and have all these kids buy all these baby mamas, I don't have a problem with it. It doesn't affect my life. The only issue I have with it is that I hope that he is an active member. He doesn't have to be in the mother's lives, but he needs to be in his children's lives. And his children need to know their siblings because here's the problem that I have. Nick Cannon is just, that's just one scenario. But when you've got all these other random dudes in this country, in this world, that are having babies, five and six or 10 babies with, five or six or seven women. And then all of a sudden you need to make sure that your children know who their siblings are, because what you don't want is a West Virginia type of situation where your daughter falls in love with her brother and they get married and start producing. Oh, babies. And then here, that's, we, this, that's the way my brain works is like, okay, so you got all these children if they don't know who each other is, they don't know who each, each other is. Each other and get married and have babies, and their brother and sister. That just fucks up everything. May not may not happen for Nick Cannon, but there are a whole lot of Negroes or a whole lot of men. Should not just black men. There that are don't take care of their, that, that don't, don't take, take care, care of their, their children and that are there just dipping their dick or, or monetarily. If yeah. he can take care of them and they can provide a good home for them, you know, he's got to have a lot of money because kids are expensive. They said the, well, yeah. the average child cost over the last time two hundred two hundred. Last I checked, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, and that doesn't include if you're in Los Angeles at forty thousand dollars a year for school, mm -hmm. a year mm -hmm. starting in kindergarten, forty five thousand dollars for each child. All the way through yeah, high school. Good here. That is a lot of money. Yes, yeah, a, a lot of money. money. Yeah. So I you figure a million yeah, dollars per kid doing that daycare or that schooling, not for all of them. I'm like, like he's said, getting right private kids. school, huh? They get they would get private school. You can't go to public school out here. They're in private schools. I bet well, I'm pretty sure school. all of but them. But they're not in anything school. right now. Well, like, how old are all of them? Kids. You well, know, the two, the two ones that were just born are newborns. They're twins. He just had a set of twins. I don't know if it's a but girl. I don't think he has girl. any other children other than Mariah Carey's children that are of school age. They're all under like five. Yes, you're correct on that one. They're all not school age. So I'm sure that he's, it's Nick Cannon. He's got his hands in every little bit of everything. I would like to think that he's, financially sound that he's going to be able to provide for those kids just like 
he provides for Mariah's kids, even though it's Mariah Carey. I mean, Mariah's going to do her thing anyway. So, yeah. If the women are okay, if the women, if the women are okay with it, and then are they okay? If they're okay with him going inside them and Raw. the potential of having a baby, if they're okay with that. I mean, there's responsibility I mean, I guess on the woman because like you, you know, wife. Yeah, because you know, you know that Nick Cannon is going in and he ain't pulling out. So no, if you know Nick bad. Cannon is going in and he ain't pulling out, and you have the potential to get pregnant, and he's trying probably to get you pregnant, that's on you too, boo. That is on you too, boo. Even if you like him and this and the other. But if you want to be a single mom, which a lot of these women want to be, and don't want, you know, they want, they, I think a lot of women, I, I think, think a lot of women at this point want, exactly, they want to make sure that their child, they would have a child if they could afford it. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to deal with whatever. Da, da. If they have it, if they, if you know that Nick Cannon is going to be nothing inside you and you might have a child, I mean, there's six or seven women at least that said, or six women or whatever, that were like, Okay. Okay. I'm with it. So if that's part, you know, and that's going right into polyamory, just like, you know, that the, the TV show on TLC I'm watching is me, me uh, you, me, and my ex. Okay. I have to watch so, it. I'm going to watch so they it. All want, they all want sister wives. It's more common than you think. It's more oh, common than you think you sister watched, wives. You watch that, and I just recently watched on OWN, um, family of fiance where there oh, was yeah. a couple that I started up. watching that by the way. Oh you have oh yeah. I, I love that. that. But then, I, I didn't catch that episode. But you gotta watch the episode? Family of Fiance. But it's like like what Chris said, it's like that is more common than you think because this couple went on family of fiance and it was a man and a woman, which again I was if you didn't watch that episode with them two, I'm like Dude, you are gay as hell with your the guy. Yeah, the guy was gay as the day is long, but he kept saying he was heterosexual. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And he had his fiance, who was a black woman, and he had his girlfriend, which was a black woman. And he just didn't understand. He could not understand why his fiance was not accept. Well, they started off together like messing around in the bedroom and then all of a sudden the girlfriend got feelings for old girl's fiance and she the fiance was like no nah, we're not having that so it's like where how do you how do you have that discussion with polyamorous relationships like if i'm in a relationship with a man and then we decide to bring another woman or another man into this relationship as a polyamorous relationship, like how do how does that discussion even begin to be had? So that we're like, okay, me and him is me and him. Now we're bringing you into the fold, but we can't establish relationships with you. There's, or, a, there's a whole show. There's a whole sister wives show this on on TLC right now, which will show you the in and outs of like the the brother. There's a brother there, and he has his wife, and he has two kids, and they've been interviewing different people and they had he had three at one point and because they want also a he sister three wife. wives or three wives he had, he had one wife one that was in in the fold and then a, 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 a girlfriend a new girl that they brought in and they were in pandemic together and he lost his job ew and that's when it all came kind of crashing down a little bit because and one of them left and went back to Texas, and he was like, you know. So they all balance each other out, kind of, and they, they and they had four four kids, and she was the only one who didn't have a kid. The other woman had two kids, and he and his wife had two kids. So there was like, and she didn't have any kids, but taking care of all these four or five kids. So, but they seem to work it out in terms of it. it you gotta people are in look. People are into all kinds of crazy shit. You just oh, have to find your tribe. You just yeah, have to find your tribe. So let me ask y'all to this. Could you no. be... Yes. Okay. 
you got it. I was about to be like, could y'all, could y'all even she thought she was going like, real oh, deep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, but when yeah. I say, Chris, the, let me, let the, me what's the question? This. No, what's let the question? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I, I was going to say, let me ask you this. Could you, number one, could you be in a polyamorous relationship? Yes. I already know Shahida now. But let me rephrase this. Right. Could you be in a polyamorous relationship if y'all were living under the same roof? That would be as lo- as long as the house is big enough. I mean, okay, Bruh. being in a polyamorous relationship, I could. I would put this way: I would entertain the thought of doing that. I would entertain that just because. But it would depend on it. De- it's really tricky See, because I've seen, I've watched the sister wide thing. Not gonna happen. No, no, no. no, if if it's under the same roof, if we have enough room, we have enough room, and depending on if it's children or not, too. Mm-mm. You know, if we have enough space for all of us to be independent or have our own thing, and they were okay with one another, they have to get along too. Hey, matter of fact, I was on I was on a hinge a couple years ago. When I first got on, and a woman was like, really pretty black woman, 30, in her late 30s, mid, mid late 30s. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was like, I would like to, I'm looking for someone to be a in a relationship with me. And we are in a relationship, a committed relationship, yet we can go out and do other things. So I was like, interesting. So I, I, Met, not, I never met up with her. We were supposed to go on a date, and I'll tell you why. What happened? <laughs> so I, I went on. I started talking to her because I'm fascinated by it. I'm like, oh, so so what does that mean? She's like, well, I there's a couple, there's a there's two couples that I'm in a thruple with. A thruple. Yeah, that you know, like they'll go on a vacation together and do that, and then this, that, and the other. And but she wanted a mate. A, a main man to be with her and allow her to do what she wanted to do. And then he could do what he kind of wanted to do, but they were committed. We would be committed to each other. And I'm like, so do I cho- help choose who our girlfriend's going to be or whatever? She's like, Oh, I don't know about that. I know but I have these things. I was like, Oh wait, so you can have, she's like, I already have these established, you know, things that I still want to do, but I want to be, have someone special for me. And then he can have his whatever. And I was like, so then I was about to go on a date with her. And we had to set up a date just to see what it was like. And my boy came over and I was like, uh, yeah, I was I was like, yeah, so this girl, blah, 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 blah. And I said, uh, yeah, he said, oh, I'm not going to say her name. He's like, oh, Nicole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I, oh, yo, me and her, me and her used to, used to, yeah. And be her and her and her and her wife at the time, her girlfriend at the time, but then they got you know in a fight or whatever, and I was like, oh, so you already? Been? I said, oh, okay, okay, well, that's that's good enough for me. Thank you, <laughs> my boy. I was like, thank you. Never mind. I, I don't need you. I don't need you. So he's like, oh, he said, he said she's wild. I mean, it was great. He was the he was the third wheel. He would come in do his thing, and they were a couple, and he would come and do his thing, and they had. A good time. She's like a doctor or something. And I was like, yeah. And and the other one was an entertainer. And and then they had a fall. But he's like, that, he said it was wild. It was fun. I was like, oh, but I, I'm not. You know, that's all right. Thank you. That's all I need to know that you were already there. See, I'm talking about it. But, I, but, I, but I was curious seen. about it. I was curious about it. I, I'm I, saying, I think a lot of us are probably already in these kind of situations and we just don't know. Because when you find out that your significant other is cheating on you, you do have that opportunity to say, you know, well, you keep doing you, but I want us. Yeah, but a cheating, I think, is different than you but that's open you start having that discussion. Yeah, you have to have it early on in your relationship saying, hey, are you interested in bringing in another person to the, our no, relationship? I'm not. But before you, and, and that was one of the rules, like in some of these things, they were like, you can't be alone with them. At, at, when you're starting to date with them, 
you know, you can't uh, like the, that was the white the white people were like, you know, I don't want to be in the same room with her. And, you know, he had he had two other wives and they were, they were having another one come in. And he's like, I would rather have the date with the, th the four of us together. Sit down. He was this nerd guy. But the black guy was like, he he messed up because he slept with the girl, the, the one new girlfriend and didn't tell his wife, whatever. And she was upset. So you got to be you got to be up front up front from the beginning but it can't it has worked people do it people I, I, do I, get it. It. I get it that it works i'm just too old school at this point that i'm too territorial that i i would much rather i don't know i don't know if i could be in a relationship with let's a, start working on you get in a relationship in the first place and then we can talk about it Chris will never let that go. He's not gonna let that go. <laughs> like a pit bull. <laughs> Before you go for two, for shame. Two, it was like a Game of Thrones thing. It was like shame, confess, <laughs> ding, shame, confess. After you, let's get you one dude, and then you see what he. <laughs> I know, anyway. but it's like I don't know if I could do that though. Like, no, I'm no, most people can't, and I don't think, I, and I don't know if I could do it either. I think I would be like if she wanted to. Here's another thing: if it was me and it was women and they were just with me, I could I would consider that. But mm -hmm. if, if it's her with other men and all that kind of stuff, I'd be like, hmm. it have to be the right situation. So if in I, the in the episode that you saw or, or the TV show, were any of the women involved with other men? No. Nope. See, and I think that I know, all three of the women were black. Fiance, yeah. All three of these women were black. All three of them. And he was That's black. Right. And but I was like, saying, but were they dating other men? Because no. you hear these situations, no. even like with, with Nick no. Cannon. I wonder how many of those baby mamas are dating somebody else. Probably none of no, no, they're not dating because that's gonna fuck up their bag. Listen. Mm -hmm. He is Nick Cannon, and he's he's carefully selecting these women. I mean, okay, he got Mariah. All right, that's one. I think of the we could just leave Mariah I off. Mean, because let's just take right. Mariah. I don't think she's dealing with him at all. Yeah, take let's take Mariah off the table. But the rest of these broads are like IG models, and I'm sure they might make a good piece of coin, but they ain't on Nick Cannon's level or financially or Mariah's level. I met one. I met one of the the, the early women. I met her. Yeah. I, I saw her at a party. I was at a party, and I was like, "Who is this? She's fine as shit." Something. I was like, "Oh, that's Nick Cannon's." So I was like, "Ooh," and she was happy. I don't think they were dating at the time, but you know, it was one of Nick Cannon's women. I was like, you "She's fine her as at hell." A party. Everybody's happy at a she's party. Fine as, like, she's fine as hell. <laughs> so I was like, baby mama's fine. Listen. I ain't gay, but all of his baby mamas are fine. And they all look alike, don't they? Yep, he has a type. And they're no, out doing know. their thing because they can't. I want to I want a list. I want to look up a list of what the candidates women look like. Is there a list that I can they refer all, to? All, all, if you go on Google or Instagram, I'm sure there's a list. Ambiguous. But I like the fact, I like the fact I, I do commend them for the fact that they're all black. I mean, albeit they might be. No, there's, no, there's, there's a blonde in there. I think they are. Um, Nick Cannon, baby mamas. So I'm not the first person who. who I think this. they're all black, but they're all, they all have black in, let's say they all have black in them. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, ambiguously black, but go yes, ahead. They are. They well, are, she's they, from, this one's from Guam. Oh, okay. She ain't this black. She's black. I think that's the one I met. Where's she from? Oh, this one from Guam. Yeah, what's Guam? No, that's no. Guam that's, is a territory, U.S. territory. Isn't she's that preg one? pregnant? I think that's that's the, is that the blonde chick? Yeah. yeah, that's. Oh no no no! This one is her. Blonde. She's pretty. They're all pretty. Wow. But I, I'm I'm glad that they're all women of color. Let's, let me just say that. I'm glad that they're all women of color because I can't decipher. You know, in this day and age of this whole ethnic looking women, black women or women of color, I can't tell who's what, whether you're Asian or black or, you know, bi That's one of them. Oh, she, looks, she looks Spanish. 
Yeah. Or mm. biracial. Ambiguously yeah. black. Wow. Hey, I mean, they all look alike. Hey. He has a type. He has a type. He has his ambiguously mm-hmm. ambiguously black type. Which now I'm she got married. She got married. Who? Brittany Bell. To who? who? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. That ain't her. Well, she's stupid if she got married because that's the one I'm that's the one I met. That's oh. the one I met. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Miss Arizona. Again, another, like you said, Shahida, ambiguously black. Mm-hmm. And so, I could fall into that car- category too, but I just don't like that. I just feel like, you know, come on, bro. No, you just look like a light skinned well, black girl. Those girls look can. like they need to it a whole lot. Girl, I, I appreciate you for saying that, but girl, I be, getting, <laughs> I, be, I be getting heat online all the time when I say some shit on Facebook and Instagram or Twitter, and and people come at me and they're like, "That has, tw- she has twins." Black. Wow, she has twins. Abby that, De La Rosa. That might, be, that might be the latest one that just happened. That is the latest one. Yeah, that, that is added. the latest one. Hey, look at here. Nick can Oh, he's married to who? To Nick- yeah, I don't think he's married. He was just talking about like how he doesn't believe in marriage. Oh, okay. And he, but he believes in turbans, though. Oh yeah, he does. He was just on the Breakfast Club. Oh, Brittany Bell yeah. has two of his kids. Oh my Jesus! Here we go. I just hope that again. I'm just gonna say this, Nick Cannon. I hope that you make sure that all your kids know each other because he seems to be. Are, he seems to be. Very active in all of their lives. It seems to be. He can be active in all of their lives, but he needs to make sure that all of his kids know each other and grow up together and have a relationship with each other. Because what you don't want is your daughter to fall in love with her brother. And and that's That's all now. That's all now. You know, most of these, what, it's like a good three or four of them just had babies. Mm-hmm. Let's see how smooth it goes when one wants their child to go to this particular school, and he's like, "Well, we're on a budget because there's all these other children." I have. Well, to- I, that's what I'm saying. As long as he's taking care of what he needs to be taken care of, if he, if he goes broke, women, women, women. <laughs> It's always going to be looking at the other woman's family, what they have, what that child has. That's going to be, I mean, he can do it. He can do so, it. But is it really worth it? They'll here are his never, kids. They'll never ten shame years old. Go ahead. Go ahead. He has 10 years old, Moroccan Scott Cannon and Monroe Cannon. Mm-hmm. Four years old, Golden right. Cannon. Mm-hmm. About eight months old, Powerful Queen Cannon. One month old, Zillan Cannon, Zillan Air Cannon, and Zion Mixolydon Cannon. Now, why is he naming all these kids? And the women are okay with that, obviously. Because they're my kids. You're going to have money. my name, and they all have his name. His last name. That's right. Yes. One, two, three, name. four, five, six. He has seven kids. There'd be no way in hell that I'm going to. And again. I'm not, there's no way in hell I'm giving my child. If I, if I had a child with a man out of wedlock, and no, unless I am your wife. My child has my oh, last name. Mine, it's only four women. Mariah Carey, mother of twins. Brittany Bell, his then girlfriend, is the mother of Golden, Sagon, and Powerful Queen. Abby De La Rosa, oh, his, his current partner, is the mother of twins. And Alyssa Scott, a model who appeared on Cannon's Wild and Out, gave birth 2021 to Cannon's fourth child in the last, fourth child in the last year. Hmm. That's what I, I knew it was like two years. He was like banging, banging, banging out all these kids. Within a year. Four children within a year. This, a I'm sorry. Mm-mm. Look at here. I'm not that progressive. Cute kids, though. They are cute kids. Oh, cute look kids. at that. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. That's powerful, Queen. Oh. Zion Mixolydian Cannon. Mixolydian. Uh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck does that mean? Zion Mixolydian. Okay, so, he's only, so, so it's only four women. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. One is Mariah, so we don't count that. So it's only three women. Two is Mariah's. No, I'm saying, no, I'm I'm saying, saying the amount of women. So we don't count Mariah. So there's only three other women. And he had twins with one, right? And he's oh, with her still. Two. He's, he's with two. her still. Because um, Mariah's two children are twins. So he the has idea, twins with two women. A quote. The idea that a man should have one woman, we shouldn't have anything. I have no ownership over this person. It's about what exchange we can create together. So I've never really subscribed to that mentality. I don't want ownership over anybody. I don't have ownership over any of the mothers. We created a beautiful entity. Those women, all women, are the ones that open themselves up and say, I would like to allow this man into my world and I will birth this child. It ain't my decision. I'm following suit. Every woman that I deal with or dealt with, they know how I feel. Drop your mic, Nick. I'm not mad at you. I can't be mad at you. If he's up front with them, they're down with it. Why not? They, if, if it's a mutual agreement, look, in terms of sex, in terms of relationships, if it's a mutual agreement and it's not harming anybody else, do whatever you want to do. If you want to dress up in a pony outfit and have your, your husband ride you, hey, do you, boo. Well, okay. yeah, you caught my That's attention. That's what I'm saying. But, but look, <laughs> if you want to, seriously. So if they're all, they know who he is, they're all down with it. I can't of be mad. Of course at they're down with it. Because no, not of course. They're getting not paid. Of, not, they, they, I think they're not in for the bag. They're all, they're going to be set for twenty one so, years. So exactly. it's a mutual. So it's a mutual agreement. Right. Yeah. That, that's fine. There's too. nothing wrong with that. There ain't well, nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's that. anything if wrong with that. I but think it's to harder to get pregnant by somebody that can give you the lifestyle that you want than it Thank is you. for because this girl. We, in the projects to, to, to bring in a joke doesn't have a job. So because yeah, if, this was, if this was Nick Cannon bus driver, garbage fucking garbage trash collecting ass Negro, you think these pretty ass broads will be looking at him? No. If he no, but like, but, well, but non pretty broads may be looking at him doing the same thing. No women that do that. But he wouldn't have all them kids. You don't know that. Yeah, we know, that he may we know people. Kids, kids. But will he be supporting all them kids? Nope. He'd nope. be in. He'd be that's different. You, different. you that's don't know. In court. You don't know. No, I know. I mean, some do, but there's like, I mean, once you get past like five or seven, what are you getting but scraps at that point? Exactly. That's not. I don't think that's necessarily fair because they because if you if you're married and you had. And and you on your third marriage, and you had a child, twins with one, and had kids and kids and kids. You still may have five or six kids, as as long as you're taking care of them, they ain't no problem. And, In terms and of my, that's fine. That, I mean, and you know what? Let's be with a group of fucking money because your child support. If you marry, let me you'll be oh, clear. Sorry, let me shut my mouth. No, no, no. I'm agreeing with you. Let me be clear. If you can afford them. Yes. Then have them. You know, yes. when I when when I got married, I wanted five kids. Can't afford five kids. Probably can't afford it's three. Expensive. But you know, it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it over expensive. now. But okay, so I get it. But again, too, when you look at children and you ask them what they want more than anything than the money and the house, and the they want the attention. So if you're able to be able to give that money. And be at those doctor visits and be there at those ball games and do the whole thing, then do you. But as a whole, our community is broken and has been broken for a very long time when it comes yes. to traditional family. And it's part of the reason we don't have generational wealth because you are dipping and dabbing and putting money in all these different households. And then you're doing 20 here, 50 here, a hundred here. And the woman who you're married to, the woman you're married to gets the top of everything. And all you get are those rain showers afterwards. So whatever makes you happy, but think about the big picture too. He is thinking about the big tree. He's thinking about having as many kids as he can. I guess so. I that's what he wants. That's well, that's the difference it. between him and the average motherfucker. The average person. Yeah, Nick Cannon, go ahead. And he probably has a very nice will, I would hope. 
that they all hope. get something in the very end. Oh, you know, I hope since he's not into traditional family and he doesn't believe in the Eurocentric way of life, I would hope that if something were to happen to him, that they would all, they won't have to fight for it. But they yep. gonna fight for it because look at here, Prince died. God rest his soul. Amen, Jesus. And how the hell does Prince Rogers Nelson not have a goddamn will? And that's he didn't have that's, any children. But that's either. a whole. But it, it, that's a whole nother discussion. It doesn't matter if you have children. You are. But I'm saying in this instance, it does. He needs something because he has no, all he the He can't can need something. But listen, after whole the whole Prince thing. I'm like, how the hell? Yeah, I don't understand. Do not have a will? Mm -hmm. Do you not well, have I, an estate I, planned up? You don't have to have a will, but have your estate planned up that in the event of your death, this and this and this and this and this needs to happen. Right. Nick Cannon. I don't understand. That, that was kids. not smart. Yeah, that was definitely not smart on Prince's half. Love me some Prince. God rest his soul. But Nick Cannon, I would like to hope to think that Nick Cannon or any Negro for that matter or any person for that matter that wants to have all these kids out of wedlock with all these broads, have your shit in order because how, how, I mean, how, how even I have a are? even I have a living will, and I don't know how many kids I have out there. So, just in case. <laughs> oh, let me take my hand down right now. I just put my hand down real quick. No, I don't have no, no kids. Uh, I don't, I don't know kids. Kid. It's gonna fight for my shit, but I have a living will, and I have a regular will. Mm -hmm. I would hope to, my thing is, is like listening to, to him. It, it, it really doesn't matter what he says because he's a celebrity. He has a certain amount of money, but I just feel like as far as traditional family and him trying to say that that is a Eurocentric thing and like, you know, in Africa, they didn't have the same thing. Now there, there, there is like, I'm, you know, a Muslim, my family's Muslim. So I grew up to watching people take second wives mm -hmm. and they're supposed to shut up there's supposed to be an order to it there's one you're supposed to go to the first wife and get permission to take a second wife and right. nine times out of ten they go to the first wife and they like i would like to take a second wife and she says no and he does it anyway and then you well, have well, women have smaller brains, so they wouldn't be able to. I'm just whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a joke. <laughs> you should have seen the two you were cheating on like this. I'm going to I'm like, like I was one of your, like one of your children. You said no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, I, called you, I called you by your government name. You know I don't ever do that. You know it's rough. You know that's real shit when I'm like Christopher. But, okay, so back to them, you know, so, so they say no, they would bring them in, and then they, you know, they try and use the Quran, they try and use Prophet Muhammad, he's mm -hmm. being behind. they try to use him and say, but Prophet Muhammad say, one wife is best for you if you only knew because you're supposed to one financially take care of both of them the same and emotionally which is very hard to do because you lean towards the one you favored the most right it, it's very hard to to do that so i've seen these kind of things kind of play out and i've never in my entire life going to the mosque i've never seen a situation where i was like they made that work there's just always oh, really it's Never always, it's always because most you know what the main reason why they don't work because one you can't fucking afford two wives or three wives with multiple children you can't afford it he nick cannon could you know yeah. build but, but these aren't wives though remember that's different that's, that's the difference that's the difference, that's the difference. Right. that's the difference it usually boils down to you can't give them everything equally you can't do it you could, might be able to do it financially but if you're a bus driver i know one thing i could give them equally don't say it jesus but there's always going to be a day missing so what you going to do in that day just rest rest <laughs> Ooh, child you gotta Ooh. 
Oh, so it's like Sunday. We talk about the, the, what is the, the polyamorous, the polyamorous relationship. Polyamorous you relationship. About, but I pretty much don't have seen that play out. Like that, the sister wives on the discussion. The guy in Utah who has what five, four wives? Is it four but that's wives? That's polygamy. That's not polyamorous. I'm, I know, but I'm talking about polygamy now. Okay. You, we get into polygamy. You know, we talk about the, the the. He got four wives. I could not. I could not deal with four female personalities in my in the home. Same house, right? Oh yes, but he has I a big don't house. Have in the same so house. I don't know if he's gonna. I don't give a damn how big the house is. I am not. The only way I could even possibly even entertain it is if we we all have to have our own homes. So if you want to be a polygamist mm -hmm. and you want two wives, three wives, four wives, oh, you got two wives. You got two homes, three homes, four homes. I'm not living in the same house with these Well, babies. what if you had your own separate homes and he lived with his other other two wives? I'm okay with that. I'd be okay with that. As long as when he came home. No, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm even trying to entertain this shit. No. Because no. No. I had him for a second there. Oh He's God, like, no, no, no. A minute. You have and I don't have to deal with no, And I don't have to deal with it. Me. So no. let me ask you this, Tanya. So you live in your house right now. He paid for it. You live in your house right now. And he comes over every now and then. And has dinner with you, bring takes you places, brings you flowers, this and that, and then he goes back home to his uh, to his other two wives, and you're home on a Friday night. You do what you do, what you, the same stuff you're doing right now, the same thing right now, but you had someone that I came in this once every a week. Day, Chris. That's what I'm saying. Every day, so, so Friday. If, if you had a a good looking rich man who came in there for what? Gracias for one or two days a week, whatever you wanted, whatever you deemed was enough for you. He comes in one day a week, takes you out, takes you to dinner, gives you some of that good, good, um, bought you a present, this, that, and the other, and then he's you don't see him, you can talk to him, whatever, and you don't have to see him for the rest of the week. I'd be all over that like a hot fucking buddy. Thank you. Let's not Thank get that you. too twisted. Are and you let, me, you. let me be like. Thank you. Oh, Thank ole, you. ole. I'm good with that. Right. You will be. You would I not. Would be okay you would that. not listen, care about the other two. Listen, thing. listen to me. I, you know what, Chris? You said that shit because I'm so set in my ways that exactly. I don't think at the at 53 years of age, I don't think that I could ever entertain a relationship. I mean, I could entertain a relationship, but I. And don't what if he says? Let me, get, let me finish. I don't think I could let somebody like actively live in my house with me 24 7 365 because everybody that knows me and knows me well knows that i've had friends come to visit me out of state for a week and on day two i'm literally in full-blown attitude mode like when the fuck are you leaving like what day are you what day is your so flight you like that with the men that you dated that then you have yes. to live Really? I, well, I know I only had one well, in the house that I am now. In the house that I'm in now, I only had I'm one guy. Mm -hmm. I, well, I'm going to talk to the, the the guy that lived in my house for the brief time that he was here. When I in the house that I'm in now, I never lived with anybody else, any other man outside of my husband. And so when I moved into this house, I was dating a guy, and he I let him. Technically, he had his apartment, but he I let him basically live here. I gave him a key and he moved his I mean, moved his clothes in and whatever. But honestly, I was like, like, you're kind of annoying me right now. Like, I'm like you're just his breathing. Annoying. What if on top of it, Tanya, he said, and by the way, all your bills are paid. You don't have to work. I don't care. It would annoy me because I. No, 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 no. I'm talking to say that the no, dude comes no, in. For, the one that's just coming once a week or twice a week. Comes from once a week. And he said, well, by the way, babe, you don't even have to work if you don't want to. You can work, you can, but you don't have to work. And I'm going to pay for your bills too. I don't know if I could do that because I don't know if I could do that only because, only because I don't, when he could say that, and I might be like, yes, 
But look, I'm like this. Happy, happy. <laughs> but my brain, the way my brain works, I'd be thinking like, what does, what do I have to do for him? Or like, what is he gonna? And he could say he loves you. This, no, he loves not, you. No, no. He I don't loves you, and he lo- and the sex is great, and he loves having that. sex with you. I don't you. buy into that. I don't buy into that. My thing would be like, he might just want to take care of you because he loves you. Right. But if he loves me, he's going to want to be with me all the time. But, and not want to but, you, but you just said, but you just said yourself, too. you just said yourself, even if you love him, you don't want to be with him all the time. Yeah, you right on that. Yeah. I'm just fucked up, I guess. I'm just no, not. Not, my you're not fucked up. And that's you're why I'm single. Up. No, because not, I, want, not- I want this and then I want this. I want to have the perfect relationship, right? But I don't want somebody. You don't want to put in work. I don't want somebody on me like twenty four seven. Like, hey, baby, what are we doing tonight? What are you? Doing? And then like, you want it uh, up under my ass every twenty four seven? No, I don't want that. I don't like that. I'm just not that person. But he doesn't. But there's have somebody to- just like that too. That yes, you be upstairs. They want to be downstairs. You know, there's somebody. There are a lot of people who are like that. Yeah. Who have their own house. House. I could, I could live with somebody, and right. I could live with somebody in a committed relationship like that as long as he knew that to get the I'm, fuck out. I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs doing my thing on Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday, God. and I'm upstairs watching my Lifetime, you know, stupid ass Netflix and Lifetime TV shows, and your ass is downstairs watching your sports or whatever the fuck you watch, and we're not. Com- we, I don't want to conversate with you all day. I just want my fucking day of me. I will cook dinner, clean house, and do whatever. He's like, fine. He's like, fine. No, no, no. We, like that. we have cleaning ladies for that. I'm going to get you a cleaning lady, so you have to worry about cleaning the house. Oh, even better, because I can lay in bed all fucking day. But don't try to come crawling into the bed and trying to snuggle with me. And, you know, it's but What if you want to snuggle? What if you want to snuggle? I know I'm not a snuggler, so I know I'll never. What if you want? Yeah. What, if, what if you want? You have like, more I don't want than anything. You have I don't more. You are, you are the you are the wall. You are the I wall. I am the complete wall. Build a wall. I am Trump's wall. <laughs> I'm the living. I'm the living, breathing Trump's wall. I am not into that. I don't want to. I okay. I, okay. What are you into? What are you right. into? Let's ask that question. I'm into adventurous stuff. And when I say adventurous stuff, like. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, when I say adventurous stuff, like if, if he was like, let's go out and do something. I'm not into like fancy, fancy dinners and fancy events and shit like that. Like I'd be OK with just a picnic, like go to a park, lay out a blanket have fruits, wine, oh, yeah, whatever the fuck we drink. That's just a chill day. day. Do that. But that's a chill day. But if we we're going to be adventurous, like I'd be okay with like going like tubing or hiking or a lot of guys do that. Or yes. mining or shit like that. I'm good a lot with of that. Guys do that. There you go. You're right, Shahida. I mean, I know a lot of guys do that, but I just don't want somebody up under my ass 24 What do you want? What do you tolerate? You just keep saying you don't want. You want, just, right. you know what you try and figure out what you do want. And then I'm telling exactly. you there are guys who will have those those same qualities. Because maybe they assume because usually the woman wants to be all up underneath him. It's really hard to find an independent woman who doesn't <laughs> want to deal with you know, but a lot of women want to be like, well, I want you around all the time, this and the other. There's a lot of men who would be happy to be like, oh, I mean, I can just go out with my boys on, and I don't have to yes, see you for a no. couple of days. And I have to say anything. And you know how I don't, I'm not going to text you or call you. I'll be like, nigga, you, oh, excuse me. I, I just want to be like, when you, if you, there are, men, like, there you are plenty of men like me, that. Call at me. There are plenty of men like that. There are plenty of men like that. More men like that. Then there are being all up underneath you all the time and being like, yeah. baby, can we do so and so? Baby, you know, oh, can I just snuggle with you? If he, if you like, really? why don't you go with your boys to the, the thing? Oh, okay, really? Can I go? Yeah, go, go. Oh. I'll be here by myself. I'm good for a couple of days. Go do what you need right. to do. <laughs> right. There are plenty of men yeah. out there like that. 
we are. I, I mean, okay. we're in. Like, but I'm, so, I'm not looking for them, them because I'm so set in my ways. I'm just not looking for them. I mean, you guys want me to be in a relationship so bad. Oh, not in a relationship. But you want to be in a relationship too. I do, but you I'm not. It. I want to be in a relationship, but I'm not. I don't have the energy to find him. I'm just saying that. You I'm don't want to do the work. You don't want to do the work. I don't want to put in the work. I don't want to put in the work. And if I have to put in the work. And I think I'm that's gonna... because you think about being rejected more than you think about. Exactly. All the Thank, stuff you. That you don't want. Thank you, Oprah. My Gail, <laughs> my Oprah to my Gail. You're Oprah, I'm Gail. Yep. I don't want to be rejected. So you'd rather stay in your own little bubble. Yeah. With something that you want, but you're, you don't want to be, you're afraid to get hurt. I'm afraid. I'm scared as a fuck. I'm scared as fuck. And oh my God, we're still recording and I'm saying this, but whatever. I'm putting my, I'm being vulnerable. It's okay. Vulnerable right now. <laughs> there could be a, because-, because I was married. I was married and I was in a, after my marriage, I was in a relationship that ended horribly. And it's like, I just, I'm too petrified right now. I'd rather just be by myself rather than put myself out there. And at the age that I'm at, put myself in a position to get hurt again. Cause I don't know if I could, I don't know if I'd be able to recover from that. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I'm going to put my shit on the table right now. Still dope. But, I but just don't know if I can recover from that. It's better to have loved and lost and not loved at all. Yeah. And I'm telling you, there's a dude out there, Tanya. There are, you are a beautiful, smart, funny, fun woman Tanya's that fun, would, yeah. with some big old titties that they would love to hang out with you. Seriously. Like no, I'm serious. But you gotta, you you gotta. It's worth it to. You're de- denying them. You. You're denying them. I you. know, but I'm a. I'm afraid of them. What about the small-breasted women? There's, there's, nothing wrong with that, too. Nothing wrong with that. In Jesus. There's no love. No love. That's okay. Well, you get love. You get love. I just. I'm. I put my. I. I pump the brakes on. And that. you also put restrictions on white men too. That's another restriction oh, yeah, you put on. I don't yeah. want that. I don't want this. I just want a black man. I just. I do. There could be a There's nice man. white man out there. Who I can't do it. Love himself <laughs> sometimes. No, we, I, listen. We've had this conversation before, and but you know what? I, I am going to be brutally honest and say I'm sorry. I have to put my cards on the table, and I'm sure we'll get a lot of comments, and everybody's going to, especially the bright light bitch and of the three of the trio, is going to be like, "Bitch, please." I am. Wait, I cannot entertain. A white man right now. I, I just have to, I, I get guess, it. But I mean, I, I, never I don't, I don't I think that's a bad thing. thing. Hmm? You have you. I don't think that's a bad thing. You like who right. you like. Period. Just like There's you know, everybody wrong with has that. their everybody has their their type. Like I was just calling out, you know, Nick for his ambiguously black girls. That's his type. That's fine. You know, I don't think you should feel pressure. But I will say for me that having dated outside of my race has been better. I mean, or not just, just, not just, just better. It's just for me, it has allowed me to, to, to meet other people and not sit at home, you know, pining for a relationship or waiting right. for a black guy to just like land uh, at my feet. And that's just not, well, when I it say like, like it's happening. And when I say like a black guy, I don't want to be like stereotypical, like a black guy, like he's got to be like blurp, like blue black or whatever. No, oh, no, no, no. You know, you know what you mean. I mean, he could be black. About he could be dark. He could be my complexion black. You know, Chris's complexion black. Shahida's complexion. I know. Black. We know exactly what you I mean. Just need, it's, it's right. culture. Or he, he could be he like the Caribbean. Culture. You know, he could be like from the Caribbean. He could be Egyptian. What about Din- Dominican? Egyptian? Well, that's African. Egyptian? So that's Egyptian. Yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't shut off an Egyptian man, and I wouldn't even shut off like a. Um, I wouldn't even. That's a whole cultural thing. That's a whole different. Right. That's a whole different. Yeah, yeah, whole different culture. Different culture. It's a whole different culture. It's a whole different culture. But if he was born born here and we kind of spoke 
and we had a conversation. I mean, I'd have to have a conversation with him because what you ain't gonna do. But what is about like me. all the Hispanic men that you say no to that are like yeah, mine? Exactly. That is, I can't. Exactly. Out, of, yeah. out, of, out of all the Hispanic men, you, Chris, you nailed it. I more than likely, I'd more than likely date a, a Dominican man over a Puerto Rican or. Yeah, but you got to take vegan. people out on an you individual know, basis. You, know, you would date an Egyptian <laughs> over a Hispanic American man? Well, if he was American Egyptian, Egyptian. Like, I'm not dating an Egyptian, like. From, yeah, but you got to take people on an individual basis. You do. Period. An individual basis. You can't put, because there's a lot of black men who ain't shit, and a lot of white men who ain't shit, and a lot of white men who are wonderful and would love Look at the look at the the love at first sight, not love the the love is blind thing. She never dated a white man. She would never kissed a white man, and that man loves, loves her. her. Yes, loves her. That is dirty a a ass drawers loves her, and she's like, well, he don't love her he enough to watch the damn chicken though. That part. He, he, he just needs to. He, just, she he, needs, let him, he needs a little education. She let, Shahida, she let him continue to cook that goddamn chicken after he seasoned that unwashed chicken, and she sat there with her brother and her father and ate that shit. I'd have been like, that chicken goes in the gut. Oh, you better. But wash you know that what? Chicken. You know what? That was. She sat there and she's like, you know what? It got cooked. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to do this because I love this man and he made this for me. Exactly. Sorry. And he loves her to no end. And she'd never dated a black man, a white man before. And she was not into it. But love was love is blind and they're still together. And they are. He loves her. That would be Great. so good for oh, you. Oh, so good. To meet yes. somebody who you had no idea yeah, what, what they, they look like. No, Chris. For you, woman. Oh, for you. Yeah. I don't know if I could do that. Because a lot of time, okay, like I know, like for me specifically, I I don't like to just meet strangers. I like to to grow into like like to grow into liking somebody. And usually that is, you know, kind of like taking everything off the table. I'm not interested in this person, but then six months from now, because we laughed, we had lunch, we had a little dinner, we told some like, you know, you know, bad joke. Next thing I know, somebody who I never thought that I would be attracted to, I'm attracted. Right, exactly. I mean, I guess, I guess love, I guess, I guess Love is Blind would be a show that I could potentially benefit from, especially coming from where I'm like shutting off every other you know, race and gender, well, not gender, but race. I'd be like, nah, I'm good with that. But I don't know. We should do that for you on on the podcast. Like, we, should find some. we should put a, have you put just a call out. Them. We should you put a call out. What they look like. Yeah, but we can't do Love is Blind like that because they know what I look like and they know who I am. So. You like you yeah, don't they know, know who them. you look like, but you don't know what they look like. That's true too. I think let's do it. Let's see what the still deal family says. We need to do a do a poll and see if they want that. Okay. Because I would be open to that. But I don't want to get no, married. Whoa, 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 whoa. Would you what? be open to that? Because don't say you'd be open to it. And we set this and up. Put it all just like our work. just like our hinge profile. We're doing more work for your relationship than you are. <laughs> I'm not doing the hinge thing, boo boo. I'm sorry. I'm not doing. I don't want to say. I, 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 literally went, that. I literally went like eighty percent on hinge and was like, I my. You I know I'm gonna do. Wedding. I'm gonna. And I was I'm like, gonna I take. This. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna make a hinge profile for you, and act as you, and I'm gonna have a hinge profile, and then I'm gonna find dates for you. I mean, like, by the way, you going out on Friday? <laughs> I dated this dude. Somebody oh that's probably not black because hinge in Northeast is probably. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, I don't know. That's I mean, fine. And, so Shahid and, and, and I, Shahid and I will set up your profile, and we will act as you, act as you, and set you up on three dates because they're gonna know what you look like, and they're like, "Oh, I'm, I'm attracted." If, if we'll see all the ones that talk to you first, 
<laughs> you won't know. And then, and if he, and if he's like, eh, we, if, and we'll vet them. We're like, eh, I don't know about that. But if he seems like a nice, fun guy, and you got to give it a shot. He's looking forward can to his text. Can you make sure like, first? Can you, you make like him. first like? Three guys are like black though, because you know, you know, I, I don't know. No, this I'm is the love is we're gonna we're guys. gonna find three guys that we think that would be good for you, just like Married at First Sight, just like Love is Blind. We're gonna do three dudes who have seen you and are attracted to you and want to get some Tanya love and We'll, we'll vet them. We'll vet them. We'll say, are they? We'll send the other. We'll set you up. We're gonna do a work for you. Damn it! Like pulling a damn fucking <laughs> leading the horse to water. Drink that motherfucking water. Drink it. Drink the water. I can't with you. Thirsty I'm, ass horse. Drink that water. I'm a I just think there's a lot of it. people that are like you. Exactly yes. like you. Yes. Honey, there's More a than whole you page. Think. There's a whole page on Facebook that I am subscribed to. Called single what? as fuck, and All right. it's called I'm single as fuck, and every men and women are on there like, yeah, I think I, I've just retired from dating. I'm done. I'm gonna live the rest of my life alone. Have any of them been attra attractive? Hmm? Have any of them been attractive? Oh, a couple. Yeah, a couple of them that said that. Well, why don't you say, hey, okay, we'll say, let's be singles fuck together. No, but it's women, like women and men. And the men that have done it, I'm not really attracted to the men. Whatever their profile pictures are, I'm not attracted to that. Because the page is single as fuck, Chris. Uh, yes, but you, but just like you, there's a plenty of people who are single as fuck that would really like to be with someone who doesn't want to be all up underneath them. The same I thing. I would I'll love to look at that page. I don't see it. She no, I'll, I'll send you the page, Shahida. I'll send you the page. All right, so let's talk enough about this. I'm I'm deflecting. All right, well, we're already into the hour, girl. I know right, we have exactly. an hour and two minutes. Chris, you got you got somewhere to go right quick? Because I want to talk about uh, I today. do I do have I do have to go very shortly because I have people coming over. For, All to right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we'll just end it and we'll talk. We'll we'll save that last. What, 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 what were you going to talk about? What you want to talk about? I want to talk that about that letter. No, not my letter. Not the letter. Doctor J, is thirty-eight year old. Oh, that's quick. Oh, is that quick? Okay, okay. yeah, that is kind of quick. So, Doctor Dre's thirty-eight-year-old daughter, and I'm on the fence. I was on the fence with oh, this. Let's tell the story first, and then you can say what you're gonna say. Go ahead. Tell the All story. All right. So, Doctor Dre's thirty-eight-year-old daughter put his ass on blast because she was she's thirty-eight and she's living in her car with her children, right? And no, so her children are living at a friend's house. Uh, oh well, a friend. So house. she's living in a car that she's paying two thousand dollars a month for. But she only made one payment so far. Two thousand dollars. What kind of car she has? She's living in a fucking Ferrari. A two thousand dollar rental. Go ahead. What kind of car is it? I. It's an SUV. <laughs> what kind of SUV? Like a Ferrari. Two thousand dollars. Lamborghini SUV. Said. That is what she said. She says two thousand a month. I know whoever set up that. Rears. She only she paid one time. So she says, so eventually she's going to get kicked out of this car because they're going to repo it because it's 2000 If they find her, the rental car company, when they find her ass they on the find her as a Oh, she's in a rental? Oh, it's a rental? They're going to get her it's ass. Rental. Rental. She rented this car, I guess, to get a rent for her to sleep in, basically. So, okay, let me just say this. When I first heard this story, I'm not a fan of Dr. Dre's at all right. because mm -hmm. he's just not good to women. And I was allegedly. like, well, 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 not allegedly. We know how he fucked over um, old girl back in the day. Michelle, Michelle, and then the other woman that was the um, MTV or BET correspondent mm -hmm. that he friggin' cold cock clocked her ass. I forgot her name. But um, he's just not a decent human being to right. women. And mm -hmm. at first when I heard it, I was like, well, fuck him. 
she should get whatever she needs. Then I was talking to you about it, Shahida, and you made it clear to me that she's like 38. And I'm like, oh, well, goddamn. I mean, really? 38 years old? You damn near 40. There must be something that we don't know about about the situation. Yeah. There, there, so has like there has to be. Yeah. And my thing is, is that even I don't believe in just throwing money to a situation, mm -hmm. but here you are, a multi-millionaire, and you a have this billionaire. billionaire and all this stuff. Almost. And when she was 25 years old or 30 years old, or whenever she started having children, you couldn't set her up in a job. Because a lot of these rich ass white kids work at places and they ain't doing shit but collecting a check. You mean to tell me there was no way that you could set her up for some type of a job? That's but all I did. Hmm? But maybe he did. Okay, maybe a maybe. couple of things. After I, after I was thinking about it, I was like, so maybe he was paying her financially, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And taking care of her children financially giving her money because she had we we ain't never heard of her ass until present day and mm -hmm. she's 38 so apparently he was taking care of her because she wasn't coming out of pocket and trashing his ass so and i think she was just asking for money when she needed it so it wasn't like a monthly stipend or something that he was I'm, I'm, i don't know about that i'm thinking maybe okay. he was taking care of her okay and then maybe she was pissing, you know, the money that he was, he might've been giving her good amounts of money mm -hmm. and she was just pissing it away. And there mm -hmm. comes a point, listen, every family goes through that. I've been through it in my family and I am not rich. Mm -hmm. And I've had family members ask me for money and I give it to them and, or lend me money. Let's just say that not asking to give them money, lend me money. I lend them the money and I'm like, where the fuck's my money? And I see them out in the street with new haircuts, new purses, new shoes, new Single cars. mother of four. Huh? What? She's a single, single mother of four. But yeah. the reason why he's not giving her the money is because he helped her in the past by paying her rent and giving her an allowance. But that ended in January 2020 because she has spoken to the press. That's see, why he's that. not going to pay you. Mm -hmm. So... She should have shut her ass up. She blew up her bag Play up. your position. She blew her bag up, exactly. Play blew your fucking up. position. And I she hasn't, know, seen, she hasn't seen her father in 18 years. Look, I don't give a shit if I got to see my father. If Dr. Dre is my father and he's a billionaire, oh my, okay, okay, yes. I would love to have a relationship with my dad. If that's and I'm pretty sure she would but have But if, no, if we don't have a relationship and I signed an agreement for him to take care of me financially, I'm shutting my mouth and playing my position. And I'm going to be set for life. I just think that that was an agreement that, you know, I I'll help you out when I can and you don't say anything bad about me. I mean, that was kind of like a given on, on her part. Like she said, she never even really talked to him. It was a middle person. A and lawyer, yeah. How, how, I mean, 18 years, I mean, how do you have know. a child in the work anyway? But and how do you, you shit-ass person? And again, this is a whole nother world that this is a whole world that the average people like you, you, Shahida, and Chris and I, we don't know anything about that. You know what I mean? Like we're not in this world that you have a father or mother or a loved one in your life that's of that stature that it's like you, now you I don't can't come from billions of dollars. We're gonna, we're gonna divert we're gonna freaking create these contracts where I can't say anything. You know, I can have a relationship with you. You can give me a couple of dollars or whatever, but I can't say anything about you. Dre's got eight kids in total. He has eight kids too. Yeah, well, him and Nick Cannon. Hello. Let's How just different. Rinse. But I, I, and I think with her, we don't know also if there's some mental illness there, because you True. did have four children, so you yeah. had to have been working. And we're their fathers. Mm. You know, the only responsibility I feel. 
that Dre owes her is that when she was starting out, give her that springboard. Give her that springboard like any any other rich family would do for their child. And then it's on her to keep that. But he should have been maintained. I mean, so if you haven't spoken to her in 18 years, I mean, you don't even have a relationship with those four grandbabies. That's right. And if he cut her off financially, you can cut anybody off financially within your family that you're close to. But whether it's your child, your brother, sister, mother, father, whatever. But that doesn't mean you don't have a relationship with them. And as a man, he should be like, he can cut her off financially, but he should be able to be like, I'm your father. Let, let As your father, let's sit down and have a conversation. What do you want to do with your life? What is your goal? 18 years. What do you want? 18 and years. There must be something going on. Yeah, there's got to be something going on there. It's got to be more to it because... I can't understand a parent that has a child. And he was taking care of her up until 2020. I know, and but then, I'm saying, how do you get, there's more to it because how do you cut that child off without having a conversation with them and saying, or trying to go to them and saying, what do you want? What do you want to do? I'm not going to financially take care of you anymore. I'm not just going to write checks. What do you want out of your life? What, what do you want to do? I'll help you out. What's your dreams? What's your goals? I'll assist you in that. But it doesn't sound like he was ever in her life, really, to even have that kind of conversation. Because what, 18 years ago, how old was she? She's what, 38? She's 38, right? So that she was probably like 20 years old. And if that was the, and she has, she's like, from her point of view, she said that she only talks to him through a middle person. And it right, was the real person that told her that that you know that she was cut off because of what happened. It doesn't sound like he had a relationship with her ever, ever. Right. He was just right. woman that he had sex with, yeah. probably with, not a Nick Cannon situation, not a Nick where he. No, they were married. Wife. They were married. Well, they were married. They were they married. married. He was married yeah. to that woman. She's fifty. She was fifty-three, and um, uh, here it, she was fifty-three. The, the mother is. And the mother is fifty three, and um, they they left. Uh, they split apart when she was five. And uh, Shahida, like you said, it's not a Nick Cannon thing, but it's not a Nick Cannon thing right now. Because we listen. Let's fast forward 15, 20 years from now. If we're still breathing, I'm pretty sure Nick Cannon is going to have outside of Mariah's kids. Let's take Mariah's kids off the table. The mother children. Let's see when one kid is being taken care was get, is getting more shit than the other kid. That's the dilemma that I have with with Nick Cannon. Well, that, it's that's, like, that's what I said earlier because those that's, women are going to look at each household. That's and right. Make sure that their child has just as much. That's right. Latanya is, is Lisa Johnson's fifty three. The couple split when Latanya was five years old. Mm-hmm. So and it from, doesn't sound like he had a relationship with her too much in, mm -mm. from the time she was five to the time that she was 20. And he could have lived in the house with her and still not had a fucking relationship with her. Exactly. True that. So it's just I mean, a fucked up situation all around. I yeah. just hope that I just hope that um, you know. I get it where you have to, you have to come to a point. I mean, I get it that he's a billionaire and you know, a lot of people look at it. I was that person at first when I first heard the story that I was like, I can't believe he's making all that money. He's a billionaire. He's not giving his daughter no money, but there comes a point in your life that I don't give a damn how much money you got. Sometimes you have to, you have to cut people off and say enough is enough. In her story we'll too, Chris, I know you got her pulled it up, but she was living in like what? In the Midwest. You move from the Midwest where it's reasonable to live to California. No, I think she was in Vegas. She and then she moved Vegas? back from Vegas. Went okay, back so down was, to okay, so I thought she was in the mid. I don't know why I thought she was in Illinois, but okay. But even still, that's still a huge difference to LA. <clears throat> Yeah, but and then like the car she, she moved. She moved with her kids to Nevada to oh, 
from Nevada to California a month ago and hoped she would yeah. find earn better money after her work dried up in Vegas. The wages higher in California. There were no there was no work in Nevada. There weren't enough jobs. What I, I just think, I just think that at, listen, I just think that at this point, at 38 years old, you your father has financially supported you the most. And <clears throat> you've just but I don't think we know the situation. No, I don't know. That's and I don't, think we're, I don't think we're ever gonna know, know the situation yeah. because it's Dr. Dre and mm -hmm. it is what it is. He wasn't, but, it doesn't seem like he was a father. So, no. you know, he, he wasn't a backbone for her. What he was was an ATM. Basically. Maybe, maybe you know, and we don't know how much money he was actually giving her. She was actually, she- He she, paid for rent and like, allowance. And comfortable. So she got something. Nevada, she got and, something. Well, he might've been comfortable for Nevada, but not so comfortable for LA. Well then don't move to LA. Like, that's why I'm, I'm wondering if there's some mental illness or something. I mean, it doesn't sound like she's good well, at making good life decisions right now. No, obviously no. not. With four kids uh, and living not. out of a car. Uh, no, apparently living out of a $2,000 a month rental car. $2,300 for three weeks. How the okay. hell, the hell kind of car die. is that? That doesn't even make sense. kind of car are you driving for twenty three hundred dollars a month for two weeks? Three weeks. For three weeks. Three weeks. Look yeah. at here. That doesn't even make sense. That's ridiculous. Listen, listen to me. So I can't. Even, I can't I'm glad. I'm glad I ain't got no children. My. I'm glad my last name ain't Cannon, and I'm slinging my dick and producing eight, nine thousand children. I'm good by myself. I just you want a man. I just, want, I, can't afford it. Blind I just want a man that I don't want to that don't want to cuddle with me that can sit his ass downstairs while I'm upstairs watching my neck. There are plenty of men that would do they that. Are. I don't want nothing. We can lay in the bed to fuck, and then when we're done, be gone with your ass. Go downstairs and watch the TV downstairs. I'll come downstairs. more than happy to do that. I'm gonna lay in bed all day, and then you cook right. too. You cooking too? And you know I be burning in that kitchen, Shahid. Uh -huh. So you know, you will find somebody. All right, so I'll end it because I know Chris got to go. I got to have dinner. It's like nine o'clock. I'm eating dinner. <laughs> so until next time, happy Wednesday, everyone. All right, kiddos. Check out our blog. Oh, check out our blog, definitely, because I did write that nice piece on Korean TV. You know how I've, I've always been obsessed. With oh, Korean nice. movies, I named all the ones that I'm like watching right now. <laughs> all right, good night time. All right, good night time. We'll see y'all next time. Bye, Shahida. Goodbye. What's my bye, Tanya? What's my bye, Tanya? Bye, Tanya. I said bye, Tanya, and then I said bye. You were too busy rolling the R's too, on your tongue. Rolling R's right. and it happens when I put my some on. Love all you guys. Right. Bye. Where's my remote? Where's my thing here? Here we go. End broadcast. <laughs>